guys, Andrew McFarlane here from StarterJuicebar.com, hanging out with the Buddha. And we are meditating on if your juice bar should serve food, okay? Quite simply, the answer is yes, you should. I'm going to get into why and then a couple things that you want to think about as it relates to this, okay? First thing, why? Because people eat, okay? People are going to eat on average two to three times a day. People are only going to drink juice once maybe twice a day at most okay so that's the first reason another reason is because when people go out to restaurants cafes juice bars they often want to bring their friends now and even for them as individuals if they want to eat and they also want to drink a juice you should make that decision really really easy for them otherwise they have to decide if they have time if they're going to do one or the other or if they have the capacity to actually do both and you don't want to put people in a situation where they're challenged and have to decide between you or something else when you can serve them food and everything that they need. Okay. Another thing you want to think about is what kind of food should you serve? Now that's a pretty big question and we do help people with this in more detail because we create menus and if you have questions on that you can reach out to me. Um, but what I want to say is make sure that the food that you're serving is in alignment with your client base and your brand. I've seen people and clients have ideas about serving things that really aren't in alignment with health, right? Fried foods, things of this nature. And so realize that you're a juice bar and you're there to support people's health and you want your food to also be congruent. Otherwise, people will start to question your brand and, and question your integrity and also just your level of, of intention and in knowing what you're doing. Now, when it comes to making this food, unless you are working with a consulting agency, and for those of you who don't know, I've been in this industry for nearly a decade and I started and founded a full spectrum juice bar consulting agency, and so if you want support, feel free to reach out to us. But unless you're in a place where you really, really, really feel 110% confident that you can execute on all the food that you're making with mastery, then I recommend in the first phase outsourcing it. There's probably going to be a lot of retailers in your area that you might find in the Whole Foods or the local organic shop in the neighborhood or elsewhere. If you have access to that, because I know some of you don't, but if you have access to that, there are very likely going to be distributors and people who serve fresh, high quality, organic food uh, for your juice bar that you can just put in a cold case and a retail case for people to come and grab and go. And as you guys gain more mastery over your processes and your product, you can then decide to expand into creating and developing more of your food in-house. But until then, you got to realize you are a juice bar, you want to specialize in making juice, and it's important because you want your customers to have an amazing experience when they walk in. If the food that you're making isn't top notch and isn't being executed well, then they're going to have a poor experience. And as they say, people only give you one chance for a first impression. And you want to make sure that first impression is amazing. And so outsource it until you feel confident. And or if you have the capacity to work with a consulting agency like ours, then we can help you. We can help you really understand how you can execute on your vision and do it well so that your customers are satisfied. So those are a few options. Those are things you want to think about. But yes, you should serve food. Be mindful of it. And also, don't go overboard. I see people doing way, way too much. Keep it simple. A few salads, a few wraps, some chia bowls, you know, some overnight oats, things like this. Keep it simple in the beginning. You always, you have forever to complicate your life, right? And complicate your business. Menus evolve like children do. They're always going to change. And so in the beginning, just make sure that you have enough. It's clear. It's simple. You're executing on it well. It's excellent. People are excited about it. And then know that you can grow into other areas as well. So that's the message for today. If you like the video, press the like button. If you uh, have any comments, please put in the comment box below. Even if you want to just say, hey, I love this video, you can put in the comment box below. I always appreciate that. And if you're not subscribed to the channel and you want to subscribe, I invite you to do so. This is Andrew McFarlane with StartedJuiceBar.com and I will see you guys very soon.